want to watch for Manchester United Fabrizio Romano begs Stan Hag to snake through a free transfer Everton is preparing to read the Ajax yet again as Manchester United set their side and a miracle of an Axel Duncan the ADU all set to become a free agent in the summer have been turned out a contract extension from the Arab Giants and on his YouTube channel Fabrizio Romano has revealed that Manchester United are informed on the situation of the highly royal winger Axel van Dagen is very, very well known to Dan Hag, having been one of 21 year old players from the train with the first team during the manager's time at Ajax. And that is something the youngster has now forgotten, having told the football zone back in September. I will be eternally grateful to him for giving me the opportunity as a young player to play football with players like Anthony and the Synthetic. I think it's nice to see that things are going better with Manchester United. I really wish him that. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to speak to him after his transfer to United. But who knows? Maybe I'll pass with the course in the future. In hindsight, that was nice to contain a little. For showing, given the rather good interest in the white man now, what a model remark that other club around Europe. Are also interested in Fanex attack. The really big reporter makes a point of calling the one kid one to watch to Manchester United in the summer. It is also clear that the player would be overjoyed to be back working with Ten Hag on a regular basis and given the United boss knowledge of Fanex attack and the prices are, are looking ready to fall into place. Watering young talent is the train of every Ten Hag's and one he was really taken advantage of at Old Trafford. In other news, said there has been Hamid al Tanis representatives for sport at Old Trafford where talks were held with senior Manchester United a vigil recording a full takeover of the club. The people's person reported that says Yasin people would be present for meetings today but say Yasin himself would not be personally in attendance. As per CBS reported by Jacobs, the delegation was led by Shahjash Shahbash, the president of St. Jason and 9 2 Fandesen. Jacobs relayed that Shahbash is a highly respected investment and capital market banker who has spent more than two decades at Bank of America. Freddy Pack was also present as legal, corporate, and investment advisor to St. Jason second from Live in Fata above. Sam Powers is also there in the, is a global hub of technology, media, and telecom at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, because it says the same legal, corporate, and investment advisor. Paul Shah is a Bank of America's managing director. There are also a host of high profile lawyers from McFarlane and a representative from real estate and in investment firms. Jacob indicated that as per his sources, talks were really positive and for the dialogue with they placed in the afternoon. And the same talks will continue into the afternoon and have been really positive. Such as the groups say they have been warmly welcomed. Jacob's informant is supported by Scott journalist Kevin Sosikol, who confirmed that so far. Negotiations have been constructive. After the Qatari inspector, Jim Brockley is expected at Old Trafford tomorrow, where he will look to make his case for a majority, which is of the club he has supported since childhood. Unlike says Jim Brockley is expected to be a physically present, Talk Sports says while Qatari says has not been home, but Altani and representatives on his behalf, Brockley, hope. The personal touch will show enough when he is a risk about completing a takeover. Ness owner will be shown around the stadium as well as in his current and training ground.